Hey guys, what's up? My name is Saurav and welcome to, no, uh, to another video for Limit Solutions. And this video I'm going to show you all how you can add a timeout to your application. So for example, this is my application and if I'll just run it. So I can log in into the application but at, I want that at some interval of time the session should be timeout and the user will be logged out automatically. So to uh, add a session timeout into your into your application all you have to do is that you have to add a expire session or a time span you have to add in your startup clause so before adding it i would like to show you something so this is my application basically so this is my personal project that i'm working on at the moment so if i go to inspect and if i just go to the application over here you can see we have a cookie over here and uh, you can see that the, these are the sessions or the cookies that are being generated at the moment. So if I log in into the application, so I'm just going to enter my credentials into the application. And once I logged in, you can see it over here. We are getting a new session cookie that is ASP core identity dot application. This is the session cookie. So if I delete it from here, the application will be logged out automatically see so this is the cookie that we need to clear it after a session or after a time interval so what we can do is that we can just go to the visual studio and uh, what we'll have to do is that we'll just have to go to a startup class file and here we're gonna add uh, under the configure services we're gonna add a new service that is basically uh services if i just add a uh, app configure application cookie and under this i'm just gonna create opera options with lambda expression and under this i'm gonna configure a few things so for example i'm gonna just use the cooking name that i want to clear it from here so i'll just use cookie and the name and here I'll just give the cookie name. So once I logged in into the application here, I can see the cookie name, right? So I log into the application and uh, here now I can see uh, the cookie, right? So I'm just going to copy it. So I'll just double click it and I'll just copy it from here. And within the string, I'll just paste it here and make sure that you have you're removing dot from beginning of the cookie name and here now all you have to do is that you have to add or expire time span and here we can just use time span and you will get a lot of options like from seconds from milliseconds zero time from minutes from days so i'm going to use minute and i'm just going to give one minute over here and then and now i'm just going to add expiration expiry time span a sliding expiry uh, expiration is equal to true so that's it and now if we'll just uh, add our app uh, run our application we can probably see that after one minute of time if will not if there will not be any activity within the application the session will be time out and we will be redirected to the login page so I've just hit the application and once I log in into the application and we'll just have to wait for a minute. So it's uh, 7.54 a.m. at the moment and we just we'll just have to wait for 7.55 or 56 so. Okay, so it's, uh, it's 756. So if I'll just click on admission, you can see that that session is expired and we have redirected to it to the login page. So this is how you can add this session timeout, guys. So that's it for today, guys. I hope this video was helpful to you. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and the link is And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye bye.